right guys we have made it to Atlanta dragway to get set up and unload everything we're gonna be running frostbite in two events tomorrow we're gonna be running in the true street class that torque storm superchargers is sponsoring and we're gonna be running in the hemi shootout class as well so we're running two different races hope we do good Hope Frostbite holds together and uh, we have a fun day tomorrow. Got the new stacks on the truck. Yeah. Well, let's go walk around, guys. So this place is jam-packed, guys. I mean, there is literally cars for days. All right, guys, so I'm going to walk you down to some of the vendor spots. Now, today is just a setup day. This is Friday. Today is a setup day for everybody to get set up, get their car ready, get some testing, testing done, and for all the vendor booths to get set up and ready to rock for tomorrow. So tomorrow is the actual race day and we're, when everything kicks off. But check out all these cars up here today. trailers for days tomorrow is going to be an absolute massive event you're going to see a ton of mopars that's for sure on our way down here to the torque storm supercharger booth they got a whole bunch of stuff set up they got superchargers and engine blocks out here with their superchargers installed on them for display pretty cool uh, we're going to be putting frostbite over here by their booth and uh, people will be able to check out the truck and how their supercharger system mounts on my truck. So the True Street class that we're gonna be running in tomorrow, those have some pretty, that class has some pretty strict rules. Um, so there's different time brackets. I think they start at nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 second classes. We're gonna be running in the 12 second class so I think we'll be pretty competitive in that class. And we should be able to do pretty good. So the rules are pretty strict. Uh, to be true street, how the race is going to go before the race starts, they take every single car that's running in the, two, in the true street class and they take them on a 30 mile ride outside of the facility. And your car has to make the 30 mile trip in order to compete in what they call the true street class that way it, you know it kind of gets rid of a lot of race cars and so forth stuff like that you have to have someone's fast so you have to have a passenger seat to be considered true street as well so you have to have your passenger seats installed. You have to have a tag on your vehicle with insurance. You have to have DOT tires. And you also have to have working headlights, blinkers, brakes, the whole nine to be considered to be able to run in this class. So as you can see, it's gonna be a pretty fun class. It's very tight. The rules are pretty competitive. And uh, we fit all that. We're good, you know. So we should be pretty decent in that class in the 12-second slot, I'm hoping. Um, they're doing winners for, like, fastest pass, uh, best average, and I do believe even reaction times. Now, as for the Hemi shootout, that class is a little bit different. I haven't really looked over the rules that much on that one. But they're not as strict. There's no 30 mile cruise, none of that stuff. Uh, basically, you pick your time bracket that you want to run in, which we're going to run the 12 second slot again. Um, and it's pretty much run what you run. So as long as you don't go too fast and you run out, run you run faster than your time, then you're good. So as long as we stay in the 12 second range, we're good, and we just got to try to win the 12 second slot. So. That's our goal for the Hemi shootout. 
We're just gonna give it hell, guys. We're gonna run frostbite to death go. tomorrow. That's for sure. Here is the torch storm setup, and we're gonna be pulling the truck over here in a minute and putting it putting it in their booth. That car looks familiar to you. I do believe they are out eating dinner right now. Uh, I'm sure they had a long day setting everything up. But here's one of their displays. This is a Ford setup. Twin setup for Ford. That is bad to the bone. Here's some of their other setups. This is a Mopar setup. As you can see, this is the same unit that we're running on my truck. And back over here, this is a single Ford setup. And this is their blackout edition. And Ray Galenzi. Pretty, pretty awesome. This is a GM setup. The Randy goes one, Corey goes two. LS setup right here. Two good tell for them. And we'll go to our final pair of ARP Niners. Pretty Perfect. awesome, guys. All this stuff's going to be nice and set up four. tomorrow for everybody out here. So they'll be able to see everything really cool. So there you go, guys. Quick little walk around through uh, the main section there. It is super windy, so I'm probably picking up a tremendous amount of wind noise, I'm sure. So sorry about that, guys. But uh, that's it. We're going to go get the frostbite unloaded. We're going to go put it over by the torque storm booth. And uh, we'll be back here in the morning ready to run. So wish me luck, guys. I'm definitely going to need it. Not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous. This is the first time I've actually ran in any big events. And... We're going to run in two of them tomorrow, so keep your fingers crossed and let's do it.